Good morning, gals and fellas. How are you all doing this weekend? Are you guys having a good Saturday? Well, if you are, I am too. I hope you guys are ready to come and ride along with the Trucker Rudy show today. I would muchly appreciate that. Yes, indeed we are. Ready to go. We got us a very, very nice trip today. We're going to Stockbridge, Georgia. I haven't been in Georgia in a while, in a good while, so uh, it is very exciting to go again, you know? I'm gonna have to work a little hard today and tomorrow, but uh, we'll make it. We'll make it, that's for sure. I know it's a little tight, but not, you know, it's not actually tight, tight. But I kind of left a little late. It's already 10.30, you know, when I'm leaving town here. And I should have left probably at 8, but... Had me a little mishap there yesterday with my videos, so I had to redo all of my videos, six of them. That really sucked. And uh, I don't understand why you guys never told me about it nobody nobody told me about it that there was an audio issue and it had to do with my settings and my uh, in my program I had recently changed my program and then I went back to the old program that I was using before and I had one video last week I probably be too two weeks ago by the time you watch this I guess I think it was on the 30th or 31st or something like that and something was wrong with the audio I never actually listened to it on YouTube you know I listen I listened to it after I had done rendering it and it sounded good on the computer and nothing wrong there and then I uploaded it to YouTube and never thought anything of it that there was something wrong with it and uh, here yesterday by evening I got to upload yes, uh, today's video which was seven days ago and I listened to it and I'm like what the heck is going on with this audio you know so and then the wife said well yeah there was one like that last week already so no really I said nobody ever told me nothing absolutely nothing I wish some of you guys would tell me in the comments you know, so that way I can work on fixing it or whatever, you know. But nobody said nothing. So I don't know. So uh, then I uh, discovered what the problem was. I had set my, uh, my audio to be as a surround system. And it sounds good on the computer and everything. But as soon as I upload it to YouTube, for some odd reason, YouTube is having a hard time with it or whatever. I've, never, I've always done it like that. I guess YouTube has updated their system and now all of a sudden it's giving me a hard time when I uh, render my video like that. I mean, I've always never changed the settings at all. And just all of a sudden YouTube, uh, I guess, decided to change their programming and and uh, now it doesn't seem to want to work good on YouTube. So what I had to do is change the audio from stereo to, I mean from uh, surround system to stereo. Now it seems to be fine. So I don't know why that was, but it took me a while there to figure everything out. So I was up late last night working on all my videos. I had to all re-render all six of my videos. For the next six days, I had to re-render all of them. They were all like that. I had already all uploaded them up to YouTube and everything. And then uh, I discovered that and I listened to all of them. They were all like that. So uh, I had to delete all six of them and re-render them. And uh, now we're finally done with that. So now we can go out and now we're back on the road, so that's kind of the reason why we're a little late leaving today. 
we didn't get much sleep last night working on that, you know. I was up late last night and got up early this morning to make sure we could get all of them finished, you know. But we got her done, so here we are. Hammer down back on the road again. And we got us a nice trip. Thank you, dispatch. Appreciate that very much. Yes, indeed I do. Although I didn't get to go to the uh, parade in Winnipeg today, which I wanted to, but you know, that's part of trucking. You can't always do whatever you want. Not if you want to make money. I could do it if I wanted to. I mean, nobody says I gotta go. I could take this day off if I wanted to, but then I ain't making no money to pay my big bills, so we ought to make money. Welcome back to the United States, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in Roseau country, Minnesota that is, and we haven't crossed this border in a good while. That's right. Last few times we've been uh, going across the border has been Emerson there, or Pemina, whatever way you want to call it. And here we are, going across Roseau again. Yes, indeed. But, hey, that's the way it goes. One time we go here, one time over there, a couple of times over there, a couple of times here, and whatnot, you know. But, hey, uh, here we are. Back at it again with easy border crossing today. Look at all this bush here. Eh? That looks very dry. I bet you setting the match to that, that would burn like crazy right now. Yeah, it looks pretty dry. And it is another very windy, windy day today, that's for sure. So we'll see which way I'm going to go. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go Highway 11. I was thinking about going 89 all the way. But, uh... I'm thinking I'm going to go up here uh, Highway 11, that's more in the bush. So that way I can get less of the strong wind that I got here. So that way I don't have to fight with the wind so much. I think that's what we're going to do. Well guys, now we are in the bushes that I was telling you guys about earlier. This is kind of what I was hoping for, that I could be driving in this bush like this. Basically high bush trees around me all the way on both sides of the highway And that's the way I like it when it's really windy This is the place I would like to drive when it's windy Because right now we're doing really good on fuel mileage Because <laughs> yep. the wind can't get to us We're down here at the bottom and the wind is uh, being stopped by all these trees that's right but yeah we're basically in the middle of nowhere up here on uh, Minnesota 46 it is yes indeed but we're enjoying it we're just cruising right along here and in a few hours we'll be in Duluth Minnesota again and then we'll go through there and just continue on cruising but got a lake coming up here in a little bit and it is hunting season right now so I've seen a lot of a lot of pickup trucks parked on the side of the road and them seeing they're going in the bushes I seen one guy there he was all in reflective orange type of clothing and doing some hunting so I bet you here in the next couple of weeks we're not going to see any deers anymore they're probably all scared into the bushes now mind you up here it's you know big acres and acres full of bush probably they, the deer won't be too scared up here probably because it's only a small highway that they got across right that's right. But hey, let's continue on with our journey and see how the rest of the day will go, right? All right, guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed we are. We're here at the uh, 
rest area but 30 minutes before I-94 so we did pretty good yesterday I would say yep the reason why I'm saying yesterday we already had a nice nap a nice little sleep here it is the next morning already yeah we're just actually getting ready to uh, get our new day started yes indeed we are but I figured well we gotta finish yesterday's video first right <laughs> yep that's right so we got about 1120 miles left to do so uh, we figured we'll get up early here that way we can stop early again I mean right after my 10 hours of course right but uh, yeah it's 540 right now in the morning so uh, let's get our day started here the new one and we'll see you on the next one guys appreciate you guys tuning in I will go on. We'll see you tomorrow.